All right, in this Fox News alert, new outrage over the IRS scandal has bubbled back to the surface this morning. The White House, as you remember, promised a full investigation into the targeting of conservatives for their political beliefs. Now the Justice Department has chosen a staunch Obama supporter and donor to be the lead person in that investigation. So is that a problem? The nation first learned about the federal agency's actions nearly eight years, eight months ago when news of the scandal literally rocked the country, forcing President Obama to make this promise to the American people. If, in fact, uh, IRS personnel engaged in uh, the kind of practices that have been reported on uh, and were intentionally targeting uh, conservative groups, then that's outrageous. And there's no place for it. Uh, and, uh, you know, they have to be held fully accountable because the IRS, as an independent agency, requires absolute integrity, and people have to have confidence that they're applying it in a nonpartisan way, uh, applying the laws in a nonpartisan way. Well, the president seemed like he was upset uh, about this issue. That was back in May of last year. Rich Lowry joins me now, editor of the National Review and a Fox News contributor. So, Rich, you know, I mean, a lot of folks have asked, you know, is, is there an IRS investigation? Because as far as we know, most of these Tea Party groups have never been interviewed, never been questioned about what their experiences were when they tried to get their tax exempt status. Uh, and then you've got this person who some say is, is a, an Obama insider, crony perhaps, uh, who is now going to lead the investigation. Yeah, I know nothing about this woman. For all I know, she is a woman of, of complete integrity. But at the very least, it creates an appearance of a conflict of interest when you're a major Obama donor selected to engage in this very politically uh, sensitive investigation. And the amount of money she gave for a government employee was quite substantial. I think it was $3,600 in 2008 and 2500 in 2012. You know, this isn't a Hollywood mogul. So that, that speaks to a real substantial investment in President Obama. And DOJ, Martha, says, oh, look, we can't consider people's politics or their donations and making career de decisions about them. But this is something different. This isn't a routine uh, promotion or anything of that nature. This is going out and affirmatively selecting someone for an extremely sensitive investigation. So uh, on that level, it just seems outrageous. You know, I mean, one would wonder what it says about the seriousness of the administration in terms of, of getting to the bottom of it. And, and Daryl Issa has said that he believes that the selection of this woman, and her name is Barbara K. Bosserman, and as you say, she may be, you know, the most fair uh, individual in the world, uh, but we don't know that, and there's an implication that there might be, you know, in, that there's a conflict of interest, as, as you said. Do you think this has ruined this investigation, as, as Daryl Issa says? Yeah, to the extent there is an investigation, and as you alluded to a little earlier, we don't really know how much of an investigation there is. The committees, uh, congressional committees and oversight committee have desperately been trying to find out what's actually happening in this investigation. It was like pulling teeth even for them to find out that this woman had been selected to head the investigation. And the Tea Party groups, all the indications are the FBI hasn't talked to any of them. So this appears to be an extremely inert investigation to the extent it exists at all. Well, uh, we'd love to have her on the show uh, to talk about the investigation and, you know, what her intentions are and how she plans to get at the heart of it. Uh, and hopefully that's the case. Uh, Rich, thank you very much. Thank we'll you, see you soon.